Today we're going to be talking a little bit about treating phobia using a specific method called systematic desensitization that revolutionized the way that we approach treatment to anxiety disorders. So anxiety disorders are among the most common mental health conditions affecting millions of people worldwide. Phobias in particular are a type of anxiety disorder characterized by intense irrational fears of specific objects or situations, often resulting in what we now call a panic attack. In the past, these conditions were often treated with medication or long-term psychotherapy. However, these treatments had limited levels of success. Joseph Wolpe was a behavioral psychologist who believed that phobias were a learned behavior. Remember that case of Little Albert and how he was conditioned to fear fluffy animals like rats using the principles of Pavlov's classical conditioning? Well, Walt believed that because phobias were learned, they could be unlearned. He, along with some other researchers, came up with a process called systematic desensitization. This approach gradually involves exposing the patient to the feared object or situation, starting with the least anxiety-provoking scenario and working up to the most anxiety-provoking one, while teaching the patient relaxation techniques to help them manage their anxiety. In the decades following Wolpe's work, researchers and psychologists paired various elements along with systematic desensitization techniques to reduce fear. In the 1960s, some researchers used traditional methods of pairing the feared object with deep muscle relaxation, but additionally applied hypnotism to induce a calmer state. In this particular study, researchers had 24 participants with an intense phobia of snakes, and they asked them to create an anxiety hierarchy, where in various situations involving snakes were rated from the least frightening to the most frightening. After this, participants were then trained in deep deep muscle relaxation, which they were to practice at home on a routine basis. Once the participants were trained, they began 11 sessions of systematic desensitization. At the beginning of each session, the participants were hypnotized and told to relax, and then imagine the least distressing item on the hierarchy. After progressing through each item in the hierarchy throughout the 11 sessions, most participants were able to touch and hold a snake with much less anxiety in the end. So it was determined that systematic desensitization was highly effective in unlearning phobias, just as Walt predicted. However, the results on the inclusion of hypnosis and psychoanalysis were dubious and found to not be particularly effective. The researchers noted that the unlearning of phobic behavior appears to be analogous to the elimination of other responses from a subject's behavior repertoire. Since this time, many empirical studies have been conducted and they generally show consistent positive results from using the simple or original method of systematic desensitization to correct phobic behavior. So overall, treating phobias using systematic desensitization was a breakthrough in the treatment of anxiety disorders, as it demonstrated that phobias could be successfully treated using behavioral rather than medical or long-term therapy methods. By gradually exposing patients to their feared object or situation while teaching them relaxation techniques, systematic desensitization can help patients overcome their phobias and live a fuller life. I don't think little Albert was um, fortunate enough to go through this desensitization process as he was removed from the experiment before it was concluded. So he probably lived with his fear of fluffy animals for what remained of his life. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you feel up to it, drop that subscribe button and click on the like as well.